How to draw pretty lips. Well, that's not very pretty at all. <gasps> ah, yes, as expected. Among Us. It's like Among Us viewed from above. Okay, let's try it out. Actually, I'm very skeptical about it. I don't like it. Because look at this. Those aren't lips. This is not a lip. This is a sausage. A very sussy sausage. Okay, anyway, let's go back. I am drawing the little Among Us. So now let's draw the little lines for the lip. Okay, okay, this just looks bad. It looks like Handsome Squidward's lips for real. Okay, let's erase the guidelines and let's color it. Hmm, is this pink okay? Okay, hold on. No, we need to make it more even. Ah, yes, this is looking muddy af right now. Let's erase the guidelines and add some highlights. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna go back on my word. This is very juicy. I like it. Picasso, 8 out of 10. Good tip, but just really bad execution. Ooh, this looks cool. So you're using three emojis? Whoa, that's a killer combination. Okay, so you use the three emojis to create um this very smegsy character. Fair enough. Oh, and here's the final result. Very smegsy demon guy, for real. Oh, and it reached your target audience. Look at how many views it has. Okay, let's try it out on my phone. Okay, um... For some reason, my phone isn't recognizing the face. Let's yossify him even more. Alright. Hmm. Wait a second. This combination sucks. I am not doing that. Okay, let's do it again. Ooh, a very nice combination. Tongue, innocent face, and nails. Ah yes, I can already imagine. A very fruity character. First, let us draw an innocent face that is winking. And also, the tongue is out. Alright. Now let's draw the rest of the body. Alright, Picasso. Guys, how did I do? I spent way too much time on this. Next, but what is up with the Among Us tutorials? Okay, that's very sussy. Look at that thigh gap. Is it even possible to have a thigh gap when the thighs are that thick? thick though? Like, is that even anatomically correct? Ah yes. Yet again, another unrealistic body expectation for women. 2 out of 10. Okay, so this guy is drawing a rotated square. Okay, why didn't I just say diamond? Okay, anyway, so you're drawing thighs again. See, this is better than the last one. Look at this. It's more realistic. Like, at least the thighs here aren't that thick, right? I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 because your pen is very crusty. Please buy a new one. Next. So this guy is using a simmer tool. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know there was a symmetry tool on Procreate. Okay, so you drew the beautiful face, and now you're putting this Danganronpa blood. Okay, cool. And you also drew this bandage thing, and this is the final result. Hmm, interesting. So, let's try it out. So apparently to enable the symmetry tool, you gotta go here, and then click canvas, and then you're gonna want to enable drawing guide, and then there's gonna be a pop-up. And then, there you have it. Just click like the symmetry tool. Zam! I'm really out here teaching y'all everything, huh? Anyway, let's try out the symmetry tool. Bam! Bruh. Okay, sorry, that was lame. Let us now draw the face. Okay, let's do the head shape and do the nose and the juicy lips. Then the eyes and the eyebrows. Then I'm gonna draw a blush around the face. Just for more 3D-ness. Alright, I'm also gonna do a shirt. Okay, so we now have the general shapes. Okay, so let's add the outline. I mean, so far it looks pretty good. Pretty convenient, I guess. Okay, so now let's draw the eyes. Ooh. Okay, let's work on it some more. Gonna make the triangle thing under her eyes lighter to give off the illusion that it's 3D. Now let us juicify the lips. Just adding an inner shadow here and then add some pink blush. Not gonna lie, this is pretty good. Okay, I think we're done with the face. Now let's do the hair. Okay, so I don't know if I'm just stupid, but like I've been trying to open the symmetry mode for the hair on another layer and it's just not working. So like I'm forced to draw it on the same layer guys. And you know what guys? That is a very dangerous move. I'm like trying to draw the hair. It looks so freaking bad guys. This is starting to look like the orphan poster. Bro. Okay well I feel like the rest of the footage is just me doing boring stuff. So I'm just gonna summarize it for you okay? So I spent the next hour trying to perfect the hair or at least make it less crap because honestly it looks like crap. The symmetry tool is great for the face but it's bad for the hair. I mean honestly like why would you even make the hair symmetric? Or maybe it's just 
a skill issue, bro. So like, yeah, don't use it for the hair. But yeah, I spent way too much time on this. This is the final result. It could use a bit of fixing, a whole lot of fixing, but I don't want to fix it anymore. I'm just gonna blame it on this TikTok. Two out of ten. Next. Small thing, big difference. Absolutely relatable caption for the male population. True, true. So this guy is putting like highlights and the eyes, and it instantly brightens up the eyes. Sorry, but uh, I prefer emo and lifeless art. Look at those absolutely dead eyes with no sign of life in them. Picasso. Nah, JK. I actually put highlights as well. The key to drawing highlights is to not make the whites of the eye completely white so that the highlight is gonna stand out. You get me? It's gonna make the eye look shiny and juicy. How to render hair from this to this. So this guy's using hexa vector. Okay, not gonna lie. That sounds like some sort of drug. And then they selected the lasso tool and grouped it like this. The shade it. Zam! Genius trick. Repeat the process. And then basically just a speed paint of them repeating the process. Okay, okay. I finally enjoy rendering hair and now you can too. No thank you. I do not enjoy rendering the hair. But anyway, let's try it out. So this guy didn't put it in the video, but they actually changed the settings of Hexa Victor. So I basically just follow their settings first. It was a headache. Anyway, I have this magazine drawing. So first, let's fill up this baby with color. Let's just lasso tool real quick. And then let's drag and draw. Oh yes. Okay, so I filled in all the gaps. Now I alpha locked it for safety. And now let's use the Hexa Victor. So we're gonna lasso tool a section and use a darker color to shade. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's do the bigger one. I'm shading it just like a banana. So I'm grouping the hair like a banana. Look at this, guys. The whole hair is basically just a bunch of bananas, okay? Now, I'm basically just shading everything. Okay, not gonna lie, this looks very messy. I would blame it on the TikTok hack, but honestly, this is just a skill issue. Alright, you know what? I'm going to stick to my OG method. This is how I usually color hair, okay? I use the airbrush tool because there's literally no other good default brush and procreate. So I shaded it as a whole first. So once I did that, I'm gonna use the hexa vector again to shade it in detail. Right, so I'm just speeding it up so it doesn't bore you because you have ADHD. And here I am adding a secondary highlight. And I basically erase using an airbrush to give it a more precise look. So like, yeah, this is what it looks like. Very cool. I like it. Picasso. 9 out of 10. Oh my god. Gosh, another Among Us video. I am so sick of this. Very juicy booty, by the way. Let's try it out. So we draw the Among Us, and it looks like it's walking. And now we draw the booty, and then the legs. Don't forget the shorts, because we don't want her to be naked. Okay, Picasso. Guys, is this even a PG-13 channel at this point? Okay, here is our last TikTok for this video. I am sick of watching TikToks, okay? So this guy is drawing an eye, and now they whipped out this multi-ruler thingy. Hmm, interesting. Bro, it's it's giving kiwi. So they're working on it some more. This is the final result. Okay, well, that's pretty impressive. Let's try it out. So on the same drawing I did a while ago, he looks very crazy right now because I removed his eyes. So first things first, we make the eye circle. Ah, yes, years of drawing the eyes and I still don't know what to call it. The iris, I think? Now to enable the circular thing, go to drawing guide again and enable symmetry. Then you want to select Rachel and just aim it towards the center of the eye. And there we go. Shazam! So let's just shade it real quick. The dark shade first and then the lighter shade. Is that right? Okay, let's copy and paste this baby. Bruh, his eyes really said. Meep. Bruh. It reminds me of Paint Tool Sai. It's giving Paint Tool Sai logo though. Okay, watch this video next and I'll see you there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like and hit subscribe and share it with your homies if you have any. And stay cool.